Today I'm in Bridlington, the ninth worst rated seaside town in the UK and I'm here to find out what this place is like and if it really is as bad as the rating suggests. So let's go explore Bridlington and find out. So I was recently in Skegness, the number one worst rated seaside town in the UK and I didn't think it was actually that bad so it's going to be quite interesting to see what this place is like. So I'm currently on South Beach and there's actually two beaches here, the South Beach and the North Beach and it's separated in the middle by the harbour area where all the amusements are and I'm going to be walking along and checking those out to see what it's like. So first impressions from the beach, I think it looks pretty good and this beach is also massive have a look, you can see it stretch all the way far back behind me and there's also a wind farm that you might be able to make out as well. But if you do follow this beach along the coast, you'll go past loads of seaside towns all the way down the east coast of the UK. I've noticed something pretty interesting just in front of me now. Let me show you what it is. There's a concrete path that leads out onto the sea and at the end of it there's a sort of red coloured metal thing on the end. I'm not 100% what it is and what this is for but let's walk out onto it and see what it's like. So what is this actually for? I mean we're right in the middle of the beach here we've got sand on that side we've got sand on this side and then there's just this little path that goes out into the sea. I mean was this a previous harbour that's no longer used? Is this for launching boats? I don't really know. But I think it goes out pretty far. So what is that? Is it a sea defence? It'd be quite interesting to find out. Right, I think I want to walk up along the beachfront promenade area because I see some pretty interesting buildings that I want to check out. Got some really nice looking beach huts here. And they look really modern as well. I don't know if they've been refurbished. But they've got some glass fencing in the front. They look pretty cool. We've got some more along this bit too. And there's a little water feature here. Let's come check this out. A bit of a sculpture in the middle. With water coming out and... A little pool. So this is the other side of it and it looks like the water's coming out of those faces. We've actually got more beach huts here and you've got this sort of canal that leads along the beach and it goes back to that water feature but let's see where this leads up to. We're getting pretty close to the end here and it looks to be a really big pool. Let's have a closer look at this. Look at this pool area. Are you allowed to go in this? I think it might be a bit too cold right now. I think in the summertime this would be a pretty cool pool to paddle in. And check this out, they've actually got showers here along the beach. I think this is the first set of showers that I've seen at a beach before. But do they actually work? Let's press it and see. Well, there's a tiny bit of water that comes out. Maybe they've been turned off for the winter. In the summer, they probably do work. I actually miss this giant blue bird checking out the pool. But look how cool this looks. Very nice. There's actually a load more beach huts here. There must be about 20 or 30 of them. And this canal leads further on as well. Let's see how far it goes. I think I can spot some people sitting outside their beach huts. I think we're reaching the end of the canal. 
Does it go further on or is this the end? I think it's the end of it. So it stops where the beach huts stop as well. There's another row of shops along here. I imagine in the summertime they'll all be open. But look, another abandoned mobility scooter. I found one of those in my last video. Let's go up to the top level and see what's up there. Some really nice little picnic area here. Look at that. So you can bring up your food, relax and look out onto the sea. I'm just walking past this building and it seems to be some sort of power generator type building but I think there's something at the top. Let's go have a look and investigate. There's a seating area. There's one thing I've noticed about Bridlington Beach here is that there's loads of seating for you to sit and look out onto the sea and the beach. But there's another level that goes further up. It's another seating and viewing area. Check this out. What is the view like from here? It's a pretty good view. You can see the whole beach. We've got the RNLI lifeboat station here. And is there actually even a boat in here? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, there actually is. I don't know if you can make that out, but there's actually a lifeboat inside. I do have a question about the lifeboats though, and that is how do they actually launch it? Because if you have a look at the beachfront, all along you've got railings from there and it stretches all the way down there as well. So how do they actually get the lifeboat out? I've stumbled across something really cool. They've got a land train. And it says they come every 20 minutes. So you know what, let's wait here and see if we can get on the land train. I've been waiting here for the last 20 minutes and the land train hasn't come. So I'm not sure if it exists or if it's just in the summer months or if it's late. I think I'm just gonna go further on and skip it. The Boston Spa. Let's go have a look and see what this is. So it looks like Bridlington Spa isn't actually a spa after all. I think it's actually a theatre. I think what's pretty interesting here is that the sea comes right up to the pier on this side. But then if you just go a little bit further along, you've got South Beach where I was just at a few moments ago and there's sand there. So why isn't there sand and beach along this bit of the pier? Look how big the waves are down there. Do I dare go down there? I think I do. I don't think this is the best idea. But let's go a bit further. I mean, the sea is already coming up along there. And have a look at how big these waves are. Let's go a little bit further. I think I better go back up before my look runs out and it gets soaked. I think I'm reaching the main pier and promenade area where all the amusements and shops are. Let's go have a look around here. I don't think I'm brave enough to go down this section but there's some absolutely massive waves that are crashing up along here. I'm definitely gonna get soaked. 
Right, so this is the first pier that I've come across. So let's walk all the way down to the end and see what's there. You can see a load of boats just docked up here. And you've got some really big boats actually. Check out that one. And then you've got smaller boats out in the middle. There's some pretty huge fishing boats here. I'm not totally sure what's at the end, but it looks like a fishing warehouse. So I don't think I'm gonna go all the way to the end. Let's head back. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I think it's time for some fish and chips. I wanna find somewhere indoors because it's pretty chilly out here. I think this might be the place to go. Pier 6, award-winning fish and chips. Let's head in. I went for the fish and chips with mushy peas and a pot of tea on the side, which came to 11 pounds and 95 pence, which I think is a deal that they have on there. The batter was nice and thin and crispy, and the fish inside was really juicy and moist as well, really flaky and soft. The chips had a great crunch on the outside, although I do think they were more restaurant type chips than chip shop type chips. The mushy peas were quite mild in flavor, but they went well with the chips and the fish together. And the pot of tea was exactly what I needed on a cold day like this to warm me up. Right, I think it's about time I head over to the amusement area where all the rides are and check that out. There's another one of those bird sculptures here. What's the significance of this? If you know, comment below. Pirate ship rides, three pounds? That's a bargain. Where's the pirate ship? I think it's that one right there. Let's have a closer look at this pirate ship. Check that out. You've got the skull and crossbones there. How cool is that? I think it'd be pretty good in the summertime to go out on that into the sea. That'd be a pretty cool ride. There's a pier that goes out really far right there and there's a big pole with a light on it. Let's see if we can get out there. I think I'm halfway to the end and I think I can see a massive cannon there as well. So let's go check it out. Here it is, look at this huge cannon. And I've reached the end. Is it just me or is it a little bit scary standing on the edge of piers? I mean, there's no safety railing here and there's nothing to stop you from falling in. I think this is a famous statue of a lady sewing. There's another cool seating area here as well. I'll tell you what, there's one thing that Bridlington is not short of, is that seating. I think this might be the main street where all the games, the arcades and activities are. Let's walk down the street and check it out. I mean, everything is closed right now because it's not the right season. So it looks pretty empty around here. I mean, there's literally only a few people walking around and me. All the fun park rides have been packed up for the winter as well. And I think there used to be a big Ferris wheel around here somewhere, but they might have taken that down now because it's not here. These street lamps are pretty cool though, the way they go up and curve into the street. Nice design. I think I found the coolest area to live in Bridlington. And that's this street right here. What's the name of this street? I think it's called The Crescent. So you've got houses all around there and on this side as well. And there's a little park in the middle. Let's have a closer look. Actually, some of the houses look a bit worse for wear. They're sort of boarded up. I mean, that one there. What's happened to that? It's actually two houses that have been boarded up. I mean, I think this is the best place to live here. So why is it boarded up? Someone needs to buy those houses, do them up, live here or rent them out. There's more buildings here that are worse for wear as well. I mean, there's, what's that, three houses here? I mean, why doesn't someone buy these? Do them up and rent them out because you're right next to the main promenade of the beach. I mean, these would be so popular in the summer. This is probably one of the reasons why it's the ninth worst rated seaside town 
in the UK. Let's walk a little bit further on the promenade. Now we've got much more amusements here. We've got a big one here called Treasure Island. Bridlington Forum. This is a fancy looking amusement. And it's one of the only ones that's open today as well. There's some absolutely monster waves out there. I mean, have a look at those. They're huge. There's some more cool seating up this section as well. We'll have a look at these. They're sort of half seats, half loungers. There's also a big painted bird over there as well. I think they must be important to this area because I've seen quite a lot of them about. This is a cool looking building. Have a look at this. It's the East Riding Leisure Bridlington. Really fancy. So there actually looks to be a water park in there. Have a look at that. You've got massive slides. Don't know if you can make that out. Some pretty rough seas today. I think these are the biggest waves I've ever seen. And I've reached the North Beach. I was going to take a walk along here before, but somehow I don't think that's possible now. Actually, it might be possible. There's a narrow stretch of beach here where the tide hasn't come up to yet. Do we dare walk along it? I think we do. Let's hope the waves don't get me. I think I'm pretty safe up here. I don't think the tide comes this high. So, I'm taking a walk along North Beach. I don't think North Beach is as good as the South Beach because there's a loads of pebbles and rocks and seaweed all over this one. There's a really nice cliff range that goes all the way out there. But I think that's too far of a trek for today. I don't think there's much more to see here in Bridlington. So what are my final thoughts on this place? Well, I quite enjoyed it. Walking along South Beach was great. The sun was nice, the weather was good. It was a great little place to go. There's plenty of seating as well for you to enjoy the beach and the sun and the sea. The fish and chips was lovely too. It's all in all a pretty nice seaside town. I don't know why it's got such a bad rating. I would love to come back when it's hot in the summertime, when everything is open. I think it would be a great place to go for your holiday. If you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon below, click on subscribe to come along for the next journey, and I'll see you in the next video.